Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this particular video, I am going to discuss about that if you are someone who is currently in his second year of undergraduate program that is BTEC, then how you will prepare for the GATE exam. So I have received lot of messages regarding the, this where students uh, from the second year, specifically from second year, uh, they are asking me that, you know, sharing a complete roadmap so that they can prepare for the GATE exam. Uh, while they are, uh, you know, pursuing their undergraduate program in the BTEC college and so that, you know, they can have a good preparation by the end of the fourth year and they can appear for the GATE exam and have a pretty good score. So in this particular video, I will be sharing the complete roadmap that you should follow early from your second year, uh, second year classes so that, you know, you can, you can follow this strategy throughout your, you know, second year, third year and fourth year so that, you know, at the end of the fourth year, you'll be able to uh, crack gate with a very, you know, very good score and with flying colors. And this will be a series of video where I'll be giving the roadmaps for all the, you know, students who are currently in their BTEC, like suppose uh, if they are in the third year or fourth year also, then also how they should prepare for the gate. Uh, that also I'll be I'll be making videos soon in the coming weeks. So please do follow this series of videos. So today's video is only for the second year students. What will be their roadmap for the preparation? But in the coming uh, couple of videos, I'll be sharing the you know preparation strategy for the third year and fourth year students also, so that they also take a very good preparation and uh, and crack the gate uh, within within their college life only. So please do watch the video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say that if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Now, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now, first of all, uh, if you are someone who is currently in your second semester of BTEC and if you have decided that you, you should go for the gate and you should, you know, pursue MTEC and then only you should go for the job, you shouldn't satisfy with the job after a BTEC and you should go for uh, gate and MTEC and then only you should, you know, after MTEC you want to pursue your uh, job or career. So, first of all, congratulations uh, that you have uh, this realization early in your BTEC days. Uh, personally, I didn't have that and I have started gate preparation pretty late as you know that after my BTEC I have started gate preparation. So I personally feel that whoever has this feeling that they should go for gate early in their BTEC, they are actually lucky because you have a lot of time to prepare for the gate and whatever time you will be getting in your BTEC days like if, if you are someone is you are now in the second second year like, I mean in third semester or fourth semester so you have two complete years for prepare for the gate examination and I think that is sufficient for the gate examination because you know if you utilize these two years perfectly uh, if you balance out uh, both your college uh, classes and the gate preparation it's very easy uh, I will say and very much possible for you to crack the gate examination in the final year now coming back to the actual preparation part now first of first thing that you need to do is you need to find out what are the subjects are there in your gate syllabus so whatever stream uh, you belong to maybe computer science or any other stream you belong to you just you know search in the you, uh, you know google that like suppose if you are from mechanical background the gate syllabus of mechanical engineering so you will get the link uh, for the iit kharagpur website uh, who is who is currently uh, who will be conducting the gate this year so if you go to their website you will find the you know syllabus for mechanical engineering and in the same link you will be getting the syllabus for all the all the streams or department that is there like computer science aerospace electronics electrical and all so there you can you know you can click on the particular particular um, particular uh, department and you will get the pdf for for the for the for the for that uh, for the syllabus of that particular stream and you can check it out um, you know on average there are 10 to 11 subjects are there per branch and you can check it out what are the subjects are there for your particular stream. Now, once you found, find out that what are the uh, uh, subjects are there in the gate syllabus for your particular stream, then the next thing you have to do is you have to find out the best resources available for those 10 subjects. Best resources, uh, I mean that uh, what are the, you know, best lectures videos that is available, uh, you know, in YouTube or other other uh, other websites. Like if you if you take uh, Indian context, uh, NTP, NPTEL lectures are there by different IITs and ISC. Uh, you can you can go and check it out which which of them are actually good so that you will find easily in you know in if you google it or if you search in youtube videos also so there are a lot of videos are there uh, analyzing which are the best resources available uh, for nptel videos and also you can refer to the you know foreign universities videos also like you know stanford is there uh, then 
there will be many other 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 universities videos are also there so you can refer them also so just you know search and find out which are the best resources available for those 10 subjects second is what are the books that is available there the standard books and uh, try to you know get their pdfs uh, you know, from the from the from websites from the google or uh, there are different websites so from where you can you can get the get the pdf so that is the next thing and also you know try to find out is there any website uh, there for your particular stream for gate preparation like for computer science there is this gate overflow uh, website is there which is very helpful uh, so you can go and find all the resources all the previous year questions different notes are there so a lot of things are there regarding gate uh, gate uh, computer science in that particular website and that is kind of a social network platform you can say that you can you know discuss there all the questions you can post there you can you know comment out the questions that is posted by the other users so you can you can use it as a social platform where you can you know discuss the questions with the other uh, peer aspirants i would say so try to find out if that is there for your particular department also like if you're someone from mechanical or aerospace or electronic try to find out if there is any any such websites available for you uh, so that you can utilize it for your next uh, coming two or two and a half years and uh, you know you can you can prepare very well if you are very active in in those uh, websites so try to find out that now once you have you know collected you have find out all the 10 subjects that is there in a gate syllabus and all the resources that is there available for those 10 subjects now the question is how you will prepare for those 10 subjects now what you have to do is that you know you have to prepare for these subjects along with your classes in different semesters so all these 10 subjects 90 percent of them will be covered in you know in the third semester fourth semester fifth and sixth that means in second year and third year only 90 percent of the syllabus uh, that is there in gate that will be covered in this uh, uh, fourth semester i mean two years so you know whenever you are you are you know you are in some some semester suppose you are you are starting third semester so whatever subjects is there in third semester find out you know how many are how many of them are from the gate syllabus so suppose there are two subjects and that is there in your current semester that is in gate syllabus so what you have to do is you have to prepare for those two subjects very well with the class i mean whenever it is being taught in the class try to refer to the lecture videos that is that is there for that particular subject try to read the books standard books that is there and try to build the concept very well for those two subjects in a particular semester which is there in the gate syllabus so that what will happen is like you will get like around four, five to six months dedicatedly for those two subjects you can prepare for them and you know parallelly you can solve the previous year questions uh, i would say that whenever you are uh, you know studying some subject uh, subjects topic uh, so for a particular suppose particular chapter you are studying for a particular subject try whenever you are you are you are reading them from different uh, lectures or books try to solve the previous year question then so this is how you prepare for those subjects that is there in gate along with your you know class uh, class uh, class study for a for a particular semester so what will happen is this is how you will prepare for all those you know 8 to 9 subjects or maybe 10 subjects also along with your uh, you know class study and by 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 two years you will be able to finish the whole gate syllabus and one more thing i will suggest to you that when your particular semester you are covering the whole syllabus of a particular subject that is there in gate at the end of semester when the semester exam is gone so whenever you will get a you know get a break for like one month or, or something so try to revise all the subjects that you have studied so far like whatever subjects that is that is that is there in the pre suppose you are in the fifth semester so whatever subject you have studied in the third semester and fourth semester and also in the fifth semester try to revise them and solve the previous question again uh, so that you know you can you can recapitulate everything that you have studied so far so this is a very i think this is a very good strategy if you can follow it perfectly it will be really helpful like you know studying the subjects along with the along with the class uh, with the help of the class tutor that is there in, in your in your institution all the professors you can take their help also so try to prepare the guest subjects with them and you know at the end of the semester when you will you will have a leave you will have a you know break for one month try to revise all the subjects that you have covered so far so this is a very good strategy you can follow now obvious question uh, many people will ask me that what will happen to the all the rest subjects that is there i mean there may be some other subjects also in a particular semester that will be there which is not in the get syllabus now how you will prepare for them see here you have to you know make a balance like your main focus should be on the subjects that is there in the get syllabus 
but you have to somehow manage the other subjects so that you know you won't be giving that much focus onto them but you at least you know you you, you should start study them at a particular way so that you know you can you can have a pretty good score from that also so i, I i'm just saying that study those subjects which is not that much important because that is not the get syllabus just you know just so that you know in a way study them in a way so that you have a pretty good grade at the end of the semester don't neglect them completely because grade is also important so you, you need the you know score or uh, cgp also at the end of the semester so you should focus uh, on those particular subject less but make sure that you are having at least a pretty good uh, grade uh, from those subjects and your main focus should be on, on, on the subject that is there in the gate syllabus. Now one more thing that people used to ask me that when they should uh, take a coaching, uh, whether they should take a coaching uh, for the preparation. I would say that for the second year and third year you shouldn't take any coaching, you should prepare by your own and by the end of third year when you are covering all the 10 subjects you you will have a feelings that whether your preparation is good or not and if you really feel that you should take a coaching now then you should go for the coaching in your fourth uh, fourth year that is in seventh semester you can take a coaching but uh, you know i i don't i don't uh, recommend you to take a coaching now because you know if you take a coaching now because in coaching uh, they expect you a certain level of knowledge and then they enhance on, on top of that so if you join it now you won't be able to understand all the subjects that will that will be you know covered there so i would suggest if you go for the coaching in the fourth fourth year i mean the se seventh semester then you know you have all the you have the knowledge of different uh, course the, all those 10 subjects that is then the gate syllabus and then if you go for the coaching uh, then what will happen is you already know those 10 subjects that is there in the gate syllabus you have done the self study and it will be helpful for you to adapt in the in the coaching institution and you know they are if they if they if they teach you some of the shortcuts or formulas it will be easy for you to understand those shortcuts and formula because you have already have a idea about all those 10 subjects but if you join the coaching now it is a bit difficult because you don't know all the subjects so that's why i suggest that if you really feel at the end of the third third year that you should join a coaching join the coaching then don't join the coaching now and it will be helpful for you that time because you have a prior knowledge of all the subjects so you can think of the coaching then but right now currently you have to prepare by your own uh, for all the 10 subjects and uh, the strategy I have for, I have told you uh, please try to follow them yeah that's it that's it for today's video I hope you like the video I have tried to share my my understanding of how you have to prepare for the gate if you are currently in your second year and try to follow this strategy I think it will be really helpful if you follow this strategy and you will be able to take a very good preparation for the gate and you will be able to crack it by your th fourth year only so that's it guys, that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please like it and share with other people so that they also get to know about it. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it guys, that's it for today's video. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, bye.